when you look at a person, what do you see? And I'm not talking about just the outside appearance, but I'm talking about when you look into their lives, what kind of things do you see? Because a lot of times I think what we see is what we're looking for. I have a relative in my family who, no matter what I do or what I achieve, she can't see past the fact that I'm fat. I'm really, really fat. And sometimes I wish that I would have had different circumstances in my life or I would have been raised differently so that I could overcome this. But then I realize that I've been friends with a lot of people and I've known a lot of people who are truly wonderful people. And I've gotten to know them in spite of some differences that we've had. Whether they were a different religion, or whether they were a different political ideal, or whether they were a different gender, or a different preference or choice in their lives. See, sometimes I feel bad for people because I know they're struggling. They're struggling to be good people and they're struggling to live good lives and to make good choices. And all that anybody can see is a political ideology or the fact that they're gay or the fact that they're ugly or the fact that maybe they're fat or the fact that maybe they're just a little different. Maybe they're super intelligent, socially awkward. You see, one of the biggest areas of difficulty that we have in communicating and relating to people is all of us have these obstacles. We see somebody a certain way and we create them that way and we do not allow them to be anything else but what we see them as. And that can be dangerous because we're never really going to get to know them if we label them or if we make them something. See, I wish the relative in my family could see past my weight issue and into my heart. I wish they could know who I am. But they'll never give themselves that opportunity. And for that, I feel bad for them. I thank God that I've been able to meet a lot of wonderful people in this world and know the heaviness of not being seen for who I am, but just being seen for what I am. So I want to challenge you out there. If you're in that situation, change your perspective. Look at people not by how they look. Don't always judge them by how they acted the first time you met them. Give them a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance, and a fifth chance. Don't dismiss somebody because they're a different religion or a different political ideology. Allow somebody to come into your life and glean from them, learn from them. Even if it's a difficult situation, there's something everyone can teach you. Just like this person in my family taught me tolerance and respect, regardless of differences. Hopefully we can do the same for one another.